by day 10 of the journey to Santiago and I have arrived last night as you guys must have seen in my last video in the small town called Montgomery. It's not really that small, the population of the town is about 2,000. So it's fairly medium sized town but it's the second beautiful historic town in this region after Santiago. I just a couple of really interesting things. One of this is I absolutely fell in love with this town as soon as I arrived here and because of its architecture, because of its beauty, because of its relaxed atmosphere around the city. This is uh, one of the most beautiful sites here uh, is the Monastery of San Francisco, which was uh, built in 14th century, so it's pretty nearly 600 years old. Uh, we'll be walking to see if we can get in and have a look around it. But before we go in, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the, the city. The, the local government uh, of the city has banned all automobiles into 330,000 uh, square meter of the medieval town in 1999 to just protect the environment and the beauty of the town uh, which is fantastic I think lots of cities should follow this as a model Sad to say goodbye to this beautiful city of Pompedra. Uh, I absolutely fell in love with it as soon as I arrived. I'm just crossing this bridge again uh, just to show you guys a bit. There are four bridges here on a distance of like literally four to five meters from each other. But the bridge I'm standing on is, is the oldest bridge, uh, it's only for uh, pedestrians for now. And if you could see there, there's another bridge. Bridge. and if you look behind me we've got another bridge over there so apparently there are four bridges that I keep falling uh, with a distance of 500 meters from each other it's sad to say goodbye but unfortunately the journey has to go on and I'll keep you guys posted it's been a very wet day today it's been raining all day since we started to look at it we managed to do a 20k and I arrived in a beautiful village we are only coming to the village from the town called Challenge Bridge where we are staying tonight so I have to go to this bridge just entering into the town beautiful view behind me I absolutely feel very nice on both sides and now as I'm just crossing this bridge, getting into uh, the town I'm staying tonight. I still have a couple of kilometers to go before my hotel. I've got this uh, fantastic church behind me which is dedicated to St. Thomas. Some of us know him as St. Beckett and some of us know him as Thomas uh, of London. He was a uh, son of a very rich Englishman uh, but he decided to become a saint in 1160 and then he was uh, appointed as Archbishop of Canterbury in 1162. But unfortunately, in 1170, apparently, according to the history, he got murdered by King Henry II. Apparently, he got in some sort of conflict with him. He didn't, he didn't agree with the way he was running the, the country, apparently, but he was murdered mysteriously. Nobody knows what happened. But this is what one thing that history says. Uh, it's a very fantastic place. It's a very small town, and we're staying here for tonight.
Hi, I'm here with the famous thermal content. As you can see, discovered in 1881. Well, this is not an 18, but they were discovered. The reason really, these contents were discovered by the Roman 12th century. And they believe these contents were sent by the god and they used this water to bathe and work themselves. And they also believe this water had healing powers. And the temperature of this, this water was about 50 degrees and it stays to the same temperature throughout the year. And it's been like this for the past eight centuries. Initially, they found this water in 1880 when they decided to build this hotel behind me. And then they built this monument since then. There were two fountains, one here and one on the right. But the right one was found in about 19th century, which is quite later. I'll give more updates later, but I'll go.